Hi everyone, this is Gigi K. Today is Thursday, January the 3rd. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, January the 3rd, 2013. And I am, I'm a little nervous. I will tell you right now, I'm going to step out of my comfort zone. And um, I'm going to talk to you about my organizing that I'm doing this year and how I plan on within one year having my house completely, totally, from very top to bottom, cleaned and organized. The way that I am doing this is I am um, dividing my house into 12 sections, one for each month of the year. And then I am going to dedicate my time each month just to that section. Now, I'll still be cleaning, of course, picking up the other areas, but really as far as organizing, uh, purging, getting rid of things, donating, I'm going to uh, dedicate a month to different sections. I know that I've explained this in other videos, so I'm not going to get into it in detail here now. Anyway, the first section that I have decided to do is about the worst, <laughs> which kind of makes sense. So um, it is my laundry room slash pantry and a small powder room that's off of that. And as you can see, I've already started. Um, I On the left of each day, I'll put down the basic chores I do. For instance, every Monday, I always water my plants. And I always dust and sweep and just pick up my uh, or our main uh, bathroom. It just says, well, I think it just says my room there. That just means my, our room and our bathroom. Then I do one load of laundry every day, sometimes two. I also have started my onesies, which is um, I do one thing per day. And here I did one shelf in the fridge and I put one box of Christmas decorations away. Also, Mondays is the day I do my cat boxes. Now, I also like to, on Mondays, um, actually, I usually do this on Sundays, and I, I do, and then I'll just like click it off on Monday, is the uh, menu planning, which is here. I will pull out all my ads for the upcoming week, because I usually get those on Sunday. So I will sit down Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, and I will go through those and make a list of the things that I, I need to get for the menus for that week. So um, that was, the, that was uh, the other day where I did that, and I got all the things on my list done. And then the first day of the new year, um, my chores, which were a Tuesday, I had cleaned the bathrooms. I have um, four bathrooms in this house. Um, usually what I do when I clean all four of them in one day, I will deep clean two and uh, do a good spot clean on the other two and then flip-flop that the following week and go back and forth. So, uh, I've, again, my one load of laundry, uh, again, one shelf in the fridge, and then I did one more box of Christmas decorations, got those all packed up, marked, and put away. Now, um, on this day is where I am starting my monthly um, cleaning and organizing for the year. And um, I'm going to empty out, or I did empty out the medicine cabinet. I cleaned and purged it and uh, restocked it a little bit. I still have to get a few things for that. So here goes, guys. I'm going to show you my very messy. <laughs> oh, man. This takes, you have no idea, this takes courage on my part. Because <laughs> I am basically at heart a clean and organized person, and this area does not reflect that at all. So anyway, I'm going to step back here because I'm right at my washer and dryer. This is my washer and my dryer. Now I do have a mismatch set. At one time we had a matching set of the high efficiency, but my high efficiency washer died in about two and a half years. I was so upset. And at that time I had um, three teenagers living in the house and I had to have a washer like that day. So we ran out to Sam's and got one that was quite a few years ago. And this one is still doing me fine. It was a just a basic two and a half, $250, very basic washer, and it is still doing fine. So I think I'm going to keep it until our son moves out in a month or two, and then I'm going to let him have it, and then I'm going to research and get another high efficiency. But anyway, 
So this is my washer and dryer, and this is the area above it which is kind of a hot mess up here. Uh, over here, this bin holds bags, plastic bags and um, paper bags like you see over there, and shopping bags. And as you can see, it's starting to overflow. This one over here is really starting to overflow. And as you can see, it holds all of my candles and candle accessories. And it is definitely overflowing up here at the top, and there's even some here. Then the baskets on the top over here, this one holds um, extension cords, batteries, and um, flat, um, um, light bulbs. The word would not come to me. <laughs> uh, the middle basket there holds um, animal things, flea meds, shampoos, brushes, combs, things like that. This one over here is uh, flashlights and um, some outdoor things for the deck. Um, it's not real organized. And then up here is just kind of a jumble of things. Um, that basket right there that sits on a shelf, that is full of rags. And I really need to make that look much nicer. Top of the washer is a mess. I've got some things sitting there that, um, some baskets I just purchased that I want to organize some things in. And this here those are my um, cookie cutters from Christmas, and I think I'm going to just pick a few out and get rid of the rest of them. Okay, so then this door over here, this door goes out into our garage. So when you come into the house, you have the laundry room here, and then down here is a hallway-like area, and this is my pantry. As you can see, I have... There's my son's. He's a big fan. He's living with us now. He's a big fan of the Indianapolis Colts. <laughs> and uh, he has his lunchbox hanging there. This is my hot mess of a pantry. Um, up on the top shelf, I have some larger appliances and things up there. This used to be organized. It used to be like I had all of my cooking things in one place, all my baking things in another. Um, but not anymore. It's just kind of a big jumbled up. This is a trash bag I've handing the, hanging there because I've been going through things. I mean, soups and cans back there, chips and drink stuff on the bottom. Then there's a little closet area over here uh, that we never put a door on. I actually like it that way. Um, and up here is a bunch of stuff that needs definitely needs to go through, be gone through and cleaned and purged. Um, let's see. Let me step back here a little bit. It's hard in here because it's a small area. This is just a TV tray that I brought in here to put items on during Christmas to keep things out of the way. And unfortunately, it just keeps accumulating more and more and more. Then I have this shelf up here that has some cleaning supplies on. Oh my gosh, guys. I've got my work cut out for me, let me tell you. Uh, and even on the sh even on the nice windowsill back there, I have like junk sitting there. Not good, not good. Now this big thing here is my laundry sorter, which has uh, stood me instead for many years. Um, when all of my kids were at home, it got a lot of use. It still gets a lot of use. I do not dry a lot of my clothes, as you can see. I have towels hanging there to dry now. Um, I don't like, I think it's hard on your clothes to dry a lot of them in the dryer. I think it makes the lifespan of the clothes and or linens shorter. So I do a lot of hanging and I always have done that. And uh, anyway, this is my laundry sorter with all the things. And then this is down here. It looks like I have a load of red about ready to go, don't I? And then over here are dark clothes, red. And then over here are like light and delicate things. Now, <laughs> here is another big hot mess. Um, these are my cleaning supplies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have this thing for cleaning supplies. I love cleaning supplies. I like trying them. I like, I don't know. I just get a lot of different cleaning supplies and try them out. But I also end up with a lot of them that I don't always use up. So, um, anyway. I can't put a whole lot of things over here because I have one of those uh, ironing boards that comes down off of the wall, which is wonderful. And then I got this great little holder at Ikea for my iron. And uh, that's really, really been great. 
So that is my laundry room slash um, pantry that I am going to be working on the entire month of January. Okay. Now, also, as I come around here, also, this is the door into the powder room. So, um, we just came from, here's the wash, here's where we came in, like if we were coming in from the garage, washer and dryer, and then here is the little powder room. Oh, this is a little hamper here. I am very, very particular about my towels, and this little hamper sits right next to the entryway into the kitchen, and the only thing that goes in here are kitchen towels. Uh, because I don't like to wash my kitchen towels with anything else. They are washed. I don't like to wash them with the towels that we take a bath with and things like that. I just It just kind of weirds me out. So that's what that little hamper there is. It's really rather small. Okay, so here is this bathroom. This is my bathroom uh, powder room. And um, I went ahead and opened up the one closet because I have already cleaned purged and reorganized this one. It's a little wooden one. And I have a lot of bath uh, or hand uh, items here and uh, both soaps, uh, anti-back and um, lotions. Then an extra towel up here and um, some other cough drops, things like that. Some decorations from trips in the past. And then I have this really cute little, I don't know if you can see or not, this little bowl here that matches my wallpaper perfectly and has um, some potpourri in there. Okay, so just come around here, and here is the, um, whoo, those are bright, huh? The um, medicine cabinet, my sink, and a little trash can over here. This bathroom I've pretty much done because um, that's what I've been working on the last couple days. I'll show you what my tasks were in a minute. Uh, my other task was to clean and purge this one, which I know I didn't show it before, but it was pretty much full of all kinds of things. I do need to restock it. I haven't got it completely restocked, but I have got uh, it cleaned out, organized. All of the outdated medications have been pitched. So that is that. Now I'll come back here to where the washer is and where I have my book. As you can see, um, on um, the first was empty the medicine cabinet and clean and purge and restock. I've pretty much got that done. That was the one with the mirror. I just need to restock a few items in there and I probably can just move them down from one of the other bathrooms. Now this one was wooden cabinet, clean, purge, and organize, and I did that. Uh, like I say, I'm sorry I didn't show it before of that, but that's done. Now today what I'm going to be doing is cleaning supplies. I'm going to purge, organize, and try to condense those, and I'm going to run uh, a gallon of vinegar through my washer. So guys, there we go. Um, I will continue, uh, for instance, on Friday. Um, the fourth, which also happens to be my husband's birthday, I'm going to be cleaning off the top of the dryer and I'm going to do the bottom shelves above the washer and dryer. So I will be cleaning this off and then I will be doing these tomorrow. But as for today, I'm going to be doing this hot mess. <laughs> I think I have my work cut out for me. Anyway, just wanted to um, show you guys what I was doing. Uh, I think I'm going to wait until I'm pretty much done with the laundry room before I make another video. And I hope I am brave enough to actually post this one. <laughs> um, like I say, I really stepped out of my comfort zone by doing this. I'm actually very embarrassed by the looks of these rooms. So anyway, I just wanted to show you what I was doing and uh, how I am starting to get my house organized for the upcoming year. It feels good to get a start on it. And uh, I look forward to continuing it. I want to thank you for watching my videos and for subscribing to my channel. I hope that um, you are maybe inspired, not by this mess you're looking at right now, but I hope that you will be inspired once I finish this and I show you how clean and organized it is at the end of the month. So once again, thank you for watching. This is Gigi. Have a good day. Bye-bye now.